Hello everyone, you are watching GS Tutorials and today we are going to learn about the code build project or we are going to build the project using the docker file and then after building we will push the image to the ECR repository that is Elastic Container Registry where we will store all the images. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I will be following all the instructions that are mentioned over here. First of all, we'll be creating an ECR in the same region as that of the code build as well as code commit. I am basically working in US East one. So I will be creating repository over here. So for the re create repository, I will mention the name or I will repo repository my web app, web app repository and in this case I will also be adding scan on push and that's it we'll be creating with the default encryption so now we have created a repository next thing is we need to create a code build right which will help us building our docker image but remember before uh, starting any of those things you need to have docker file as well as the build spec files these two files must be already uh, present in your root directory you can see I have already added docker file as well as the build spec.yaml file we'll come to that soon but first we'll be creating a code build okay so over here I will be creating a code build the project name will be my code build for docker okay this will be the name of my build project next thing is i will be selecting the source and the source will be my web app okay branch will be of master and operating system now in this case i'll be selecting ubuntu and runtime will be of standard the image over here will be of 4.0 and I will be selecting the privilege since uh, docker image must have um, like doc building the docker image must have an elevated privilege. What does this actually mean is that it should have specific privilege only then you can uh, create those docker images. Okay, so for that reason, I've selected over here and we are going to use build spec file and don't need to mention it over here since it's the default build spec.yaml already present. So for that matter, and now I will be creating a project. After that, we'll be adding the following environment variables now why do we need these environment variables because to maintain the privacy or also we can say the secrets should not be disclosed in the main logs so for that matter we need to uh, give environment variables which will protect our credentials by from actual leak okay so now we'll be going to environment within that we'll be adding the environment variables so what are environment variables i mentioned here first thing is about aws default region do check uh, do keep um do uh, keep in mind that space can also make your pipeline or build fail so 
check if all the spaces are removed while you are creating these environment variables us east hyphen one so this is the image so yeah next environment variable is about aws account id now this should be of over here right image tag latest so that we have got image repo name right so what is my repository name i'll be as it is copying it and pasting it over here okay so these are the required uh, credit uh, environment variables while we run a code build you will understand why we are doing this as i create build spec.yaml okay so we have got build spec.yaml for the docker image building as well as pushing it so we'll just copy it as it is and paste it in our build spec.yaml now you can observe this that i have mentioned these environment variables over here so whatever in case any of those changes occur it will just have to change the environment variables we don't have to update this file again and again so for that matter also we make use of environment variables so in this case um, these variables will be used as it is since we have already mentioned them in the in the code build so it will help us build our code modified build spec dot yaml okay now we'll be committing those changes okay the next thing is about like uh, add the policy now this one is a very important concept like why do we need to add this okay so basically speaking if i directly start the build let's check if it works or not just for your understanding i'm running it it won't succeed but still i'm running it okay as you can see over here that for login like AWS ECR logging it is giving some error known as command execution error so why does this error occur it basically occurs because it doesn't have that permission to make those changes or even logging into the ECR so for that matter we need to add this policy like Amazon EC2 container registry full access with this policy our code build will be able to access all the uh, images or all the um, authorization related uh, accesses will be available to code build okay so for that we'll be adding this policy so where do we have those we'll have to go into iam right yeah so in this case for within the policies we'll search for amazon ec2 container search now in this case you can see this policy over here and we'll be granting the full access policy to our um, code build okay 
so the name of the code build let me check by what name i have added this my code build for docker right my code build for docker service role i will be attaching this policy okay now let's check whether it's working or not after attaching the policy okay my code build for docker will be starting the build now also we can watch these phase details build operation is also done which and these two all these were mentioned in our build spec.yaml so basically i would like to explain the build spec.yaml a bit so basically within the phases we already know what version is right so within the phases we have got different commands and in the first phase that is pre-build we are logging into our ecr okay so after logging into the ecr we then build the docker image and after that we ta add a tag to it and in the post build we are just pushing the created image to our particular repository this is the actual uh, i would say the name of the repository okay so as you can see that it has got successfully created and with stick container registry also we can see that the image got created so in this way we can use a uh, code build for building a docker image so that is how we design the flow and work on it so hope you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel if you love the content thank you so much a very good bye